what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. We've had a ton of high profile phone launches in the past couple of weeks, but not to be lost in the shuffle is my full review of the HTC Aria for, H for uh, AT&T, AT &T, AT &T. special thanks to the folks at Best Buy Mobile who hooked us up with a couple of these. I've uh, got a couple other people doing their reviews and then we're going to give them away, two of them to give away in the one pod bandit, so stay tuned for that. Best Buy Mobile, walk out work and you buy a phone there. If you want, we'll spend the time to get you all set up, get your, uh, in this case, get your Google profile set up, your contacts synced, your Facebook happening, all that stuff before you leave. So thanks to them. The device itself, uh, I really, there's a lot about this that I really like. Uh, a couple negatives. One is AT&T's network performance, you know, still kind of spotty, especially depending on where you are. Uh, two is that AT&T has kind of blocked Android, not to the extent they did on the backflip, but they're not allowing you to sideload apps. Basically, uh, if an app doesn't come from the Android market, it's not going to run on this phone, uh, which, you know, a lot of consumers won't care about, but people who are into Android will be frustrated by that for sure. Uh, that being said, the phone itself, um, in general, I think it's really cool. I really like that it's a viable option uh, in this trend of mega phones with the Evo and now the Droid X, you know, 4-inch plus screens, even the Droid Incredible at 3.7. You've got this one, it's smaller, 3.2 inches, uh, provides for a very small design, easily pocketable, and it's interesting because women and people who work in tech, like other tech bloggers I know, whether man or women, really dug the size of this phone. Men who don't work in tech, who I showed it to, were kind of like, nah, yeah, I guess it's cool that it's small, but where's the Evo, man? Where's the Droid X? Have you seen that one? So, you know, uh, take that for what you will, but the small size makes it very pocketable. Put it in a purse, put it in a tight jeans pocket. If you're me, put it in a loose jeans pocket. Uh, but you still have, you know, full web browser, full Android, notifications, you've got your headphone jack on top so you can listen to music. A lot going for this phone that's really nice. A couple drawbacks related to the size, but in general, I think it's a, uh, you know, it's a good device, but 130 bucks on contract through AT&T, that's a tough sell because you've got, you know, the new iPhone at 199 the iPhone 3GS at 99 now on AT&T, or if you really want an Android phone, there are perhaps sexier options, or at least options that aren't kind of hamstrung by AT&T on the other carriers right now. Lots of Android phones uh, are keeping me busy, believe me. Anyway, we'll take a closer look, but in general, I'm digging the area, and uh, you know, that Ferrari yellow uh, back panel on the inside, definitely pretty cool too. Let's check it out. All right, so I've had the Aria for a couple weeks now. I used it uh, exclusively as my personal device for several days, and then uh, over the last week or so, I've been kind of coming back to it as I've been trying out. You know, like I said, these other phones, you've got the uh, iPhone 4, you've got the Droid X, you've got the Galaxy S, which have the unlocked version, but they just announced the versions for the U.S. market. All kinds of phones. So uh, it's been interesting to kind of come back to the Aria. And uh, basically, you know, it, it, I won't go in depth in terms of the software and features because uh, either, you know, you saw the unboxing video, if you saw that, um, um, you know, you got, got to taste what the Aria can do. And if you've seen the Incredible or the Evo or the uh, unlocked HTC devices. You know, it's basically the same HTC uh, Sense riding on top of Android 2.1. Uh, mentioned the issue with uh, AT&T blocking the, um, you know, the non-Android market apps, which is kind of a drag. Uh, but otherwise, uh, the phone's been really a pleasure to use. Like I said, I love the small size. I love the design. The, uh, you know, the thing with the screws on the back, the kind of industrial look, the soft touch black plastic. And then the uh, the racing Ferrari yellow on the inside. This is a repeat from the uh, the unboxing video I know, but I just I just think it looks really cool. And then your uh, micro SD card slot. Uh, camera does not have a flash, and it shoots uh, VGA video only. It's fine. It's not the best camera in the world for sure. Uh, if you're looking for you know high quality camera performance, you might want to check out uh, on AT and T. You might want to check out the iPhone four. Um, on, you know, if you want an Android phone, I would take a look at the Evo or the Droid Incredible. Um, slightly better cameras than this one. But, you know, it, for, for a uh, camera phone, it's fine. It's, you know, generally speaking, you're going to be able to grab your pictures and your videos and stuff. Um, in general, performance has been pretty good. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, as you can see, and then 3G on, on AT&T's network. Um, call quality has been, you know... Uh, it's been decent on AT&T. I mean, relative to AT&T, it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm in an area, San Francisco Bay Area, that's widely known for AT&T performance issues, and, uh, you know, it's definitely had a few of them. Not like an iPhone uh, 3G or 3GS, but, um, you know, it's not like a, a Droid Incredible on Verizon either. So, you know, kind of take that for what it is. Uh, the screen's been very responsive. Really enjoyed um, 
you know, using the screen to do different things. Uh, I'll load up the at and My Yahoo page, but let's kill that and we'll go to, we always go to Phone Dog. Let's go to Droid Dog, John Walton's Android focused site, part of the Phone Dog network here. If you want to get hardcore on your Android, this is where you go. And uh, I'm connected to Wi Fi right now. The accelerometer is responsive, uh, kicks right in. Um, for an HVGA display, you know, the nice thing is that uh, uh, the lower powered processor, this isn't a Snapdragon processor, but the processor on here is fine for moving that many pixels around. Battery life has been a little bit of an issue for sure. Uh, it's run down noticeably quick, and you know, I've had a couple times where I'm not quite to the end of the day, and if I've been using it heavily, I need to recharge. Uh, so that's something with, you know, the, the recent Android phones, the recent uh, HTC phones has been something of an issue. And I've actually noticed it a little bit more on Aria than on uh, the incredible, uh, the Evo, the more I started to hammer on it, the more I used it. Uh, but that's with kind of the Wi-Fi, the uh, mobile hotspot feature um, and watching mobile TV on it. Uh, hopefully, HTC will be able to release a, uh, an update that helps us on the battery life issues. But uh, it's not a deal breaker uh, with this device, but if you're a super heavy user of all the features, you're going to want to, you know, bear in mind that uh, battery life, you know, something that, that does give me a little bit of concern on this phone. Um, I'll go over to Beeberry Dog there. You've got the optical D-pad, which I think is a nice little touch, especially on a device this small. Uh, you know, basically, I mean, I can kind of go over what I went over before. Um, like I said in the unboxing video and the other recent HTC Android phone videos. But, you know, it, it does what it does. HTC Sense and the WebKit browser, it's got the multi-touch support. Uh, it's very responsive. I think the thing on this phone comes down to the physical size, and one of the areas where that's potentially an issue is with typing. Um, in portrait mode, you know, I like to two-thumb type. Two-thumb typing on a standard screen size phone in portrait mode is, uh, you know... It, it's a little bit janky at best. Uh, it's not really possible on this phone. Two thumb typing, just, you know, with my thumbs especially, just too big. Uh, one thumb typing, um, you know, I, I kind of found that I have to take my time a little bit more um, on this phone than on, uh, you know, three and a half or larger inch screen, three and a half inch or larger display. Um, trying to go quickly on this phone, I definitely made more errors than, you know, I'm used to. Um, I think it's totally doable. You just kind of have to be a little more careful. Uh, the widescreen mode actually works quite well. And um, again, you know, I can't type quite as fast. When I first, if you watch the unboxing video, you know, I was kind of like, oh, wow, this is actually pretty good. I think it'll be fine. Uh, the more I use the phone, the more I notice definitely I was making, you know, marginally more errors than I'm used to. So just bear that in mind. Uh, I think what's nice about this phone or, you know, somebody who might really like this one is somebody who actually likes the old T9 style typing, uh, but wants a full-on smartphone or a full-on Android phone. And so you can switch your input methods. Go to settings. Keyboard. Touch input. Keyboard types. And we'll go to phone keypad. We'll go back to the internet here. Let's do it from here. And so now you've got the T9 style. And so for, you know, there are lots of people who are just got so good at texting on, uh, remember the old phones with keys on those phones, that they, they prefer this style or they're very fluent with it. And uh, if that's you, you know, uh, you may, there's, this may be the phone for you because you get the best of a lot of worlds with the small size, the full features, great screen, and then... Um, you know, if you can do the T9 style, uh, all the better. Um, you get a 2 gig gigabyte S micro SD card. Micro SD cards aren't all that expensive, but again, looking at the price of this phone relative to some of your other choices, you know, that, that's something else you're going to have to tack on if you want to do, uh, you know, store a lot of media on it, that kind of thing. Um, widget performance has been, you know, has been good. The apps have run smoothly. I've got capacitive touch buttons on the bottom there, so some people don't like the capacitive touch bot buttons. Uh, so if that's you, you know, bear that in mind, but they work just fine. You've got the uh, HEC Leap, so you get the overview of the different screens. Um, again, you know, all in all, uh, solid performer with the exception of the battery life issue that I'm a little bit worried about. Um, but that didn't really detract me from really enjoying my time with this phone. And uh, a nice option, I, I wrote a couple blog posts a while ago about um, using uh, smartphones, for their GPS apps, like for, you know, 
I run and I like to use the GPS app when I go running or if you're into like whatever hiking or skiing or biking or that kind of thing and how, you know, that, that's one case you can make for a small f- smartphone um, as well as, you know, just the carrying it around in day-to-day life or the lower cost or what have you. So, you know, that, that's something where uh, I think there's a big appeal for this kind of device for sure. So again, I'll say it one more time as if I hadn't said it enough already. In general, it's a winner. Um, in terms of pricing on the network and other options, that's going to be up to you, but definitely I could see opting for an iPhone on AT&T or um, an Android phone on a different market to get a little bit more bang for your buck if you're looking for the most performance ever. And the battery life issue is something that hopefully can be corrected with a software update in the near future, but I, I don't have any specifics on that, so you know I'm not promising anything. Uh, but otherwise, aside from that, it, it's a thumbs up for me. I definitely enjoy the Aria. I think uh, it's cool to see, you know, with all these giant mega screen phones, it's cool to see the uh, smaller phones because there's just something cool about lots of features and functionality packed into a little tiny piece of gadget. So there you go. Till next time, my name's Noah. Thanks for watching. Much, much more on the Aria. All the other phones coming out, there's a ton of them. Here's just a couple. Over. Hey, get these out of here. This is all about me. Over on phonedog.com and like I said, droiddog.com for all your Android needs. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.